and welcome back to the farm. Uh, today, things are actually drawing to a close. We're uh, it's it's getting to the end of the season. Uh, winter is fast approaching, and uh, and we've only got a few bits to do. We're sort of getting the farm ready now uh, for for winter. There's still stuff to do over winter, but the amount of stuff we have to do is much much less. So uh, yeah. I'm going to, uh, we're not going to be doing any vlogs for a while because, uh, yeah, there isn't much to show. Um, but what we do have to show today, as you can probably see, is that uh, we have a lot of weeds. So our new, our newly planted uh, field over here, as you saw while we were planting it, was just getting overrun by weeds. And yet we have a huge number of them. Um... They're, uh, they're, they're covering most of the field. We're going to give the field a good weed in general. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it needs sorting. So uh, that's what our main job today is. Let's unfold our weeder. Oh, I haven't... I need to collect up my hoses. That's what I haven't done. Let's connect up our hoses. Might have to lower it to do this. There we go. Get ourselves some better access, I think. Oh, no. There we go. Lift it back up. Fold it out. There we go. Yeah, if you don't connect up your hydraulics, then they're not going to work. <laughs> so this is a nice big weeder. It's uh, it's pretty good and it allows us to to get through fields fairly quickly. I'll drop it down and away we go. And as you can see, it gets rid of our weeds really, really effectively. This now we may end up with uh, with some weeds on the uh, on other bits of the field later on. Uh, so we'll probably have to go and do this job again at some point. We have to be careful because there's only sort of the first couple of uh, uh, first sort of couple of stages of growth that we're able to do this. So, like now, while we're uh, while we have it recently planted, it is a pretty good time for us to do it. Uh, we also can do it when we are um, when we got uh, some of our crops uh, grown. There we go. Uh, but uh, at this stage is uh, is a pretty good time to do it, to be honest. Nice and easy. And it doesn't mess things up too much. So just run this over the top. And uh, and yeah, it nicely plucks the weeds out and uh, and gets rid of them while they're young like this. Um, if we have if we left these, if we uh, waited for uh, a little bit more, we'd had to spray this all off. And, uh, and to be perfectly honest, I'm I'm much more a fan of um, of using the non-chemical solution for these kinds of things. I mean, we're, uh, we're not completely organic here by any means, but uh, if I could save myself some money by not spreading uh, by not spraying uh, chemicals all over the field, uh, then I absolutely will. You know, <laughs> that's that's just that's just good business practice, to be honest. Um, it's just to to keep up with this work this way, and uh, and yeah, you you end up only costing the fuel to drive uh, drive on here and uh, and get rid of these weeds. You you end up not worrying too much uh, about having to to buy in you know a whole load of herbicides just to get rid of these. Um, it's part of the reason why I, I tend to like to try and spread. I tend to try and like to do manure uh, on the fields, uh, and um, and why we do uh, slurry on our grass fields because it's all fertilizer that's generated by the farm, uh, and uh, and therefore you know saves buying all of that stuff in. Uh, this is working very nicely. Uh, and this is a wonderfully wide uh, weed of this. 
uh, works absolutely brilliantly for us getting jobs done pretty swiftly uh, and uh, and pretty effectively uh, and as I was saying so as I was saying at the beginning of the video changing tack on what I'm talking about completely here um, this is basically our last winter job uh, we've not got any more seeding to do until the springtime um, we've done all of our mowing and all our grass cutting for the year uh, we've uh, yeah we've, we've plowed all our fields all our fields are ready to take next year's crop when we uh, when we get around to it when we get to planting them uh, so uh, there's that um, yeah it's basically all we've all we've got to do now for the next few months until uh, things warm up again is to uh, is to look after the cows and we're in a really good position for for the cows over the winter there's uh, we've got a good supply of, uh, of silage bales of, uh, of hay bales and straw uh, so uh, we will uh, we will seed them through the winter quite nicely until uh, harvest next autumn uh, where this field uh, will be one of the fields of course that will be giving us or we be, will be replenishing our um, uh, will be replenishing our straw. Uh, this one, uh, this is our big straw field. We're also going to put another. We're going to put a field of barley in. Uh, I think it's probably going to be that far field over there. We've uh, this one. Uh, this one last year, the one ne uh, next to us there, that was barley. So uh, that's going to be soybeans this year. And then we've got a little field of um, a little field of corn just the other side of the road. So uh, yeah, plenty for us to. Uh, to be getting on with so it's going to be a busy springtime getting all of that uh, stuff planted uh, but we are ready for it we are going to be in a position where uh, we are ready to uh, to get that job done need to be a little bit further out than I am there we go uh, and uh, and yeah we should uh, we should get the crops in in time and uh, and hopefully have a good harvest season uh, next year uh, at the moment uh, I'm pleased with how this is going this field is looking great uh, these weeds are the last thing we need to get rid of here uh, and uh, and once we're uh, once we're sorted on this we will all be good um, we may even look at uh, uh, trying out a new track to come the springtime uh, I, I know I've been I've been talking about that a little bit since uh, for a while and it's becoming more and more evident of that um we are in a position here where we don't actually have anything that has a uh, uh or we don't have any care wheels for any of our tractors so uh anything any spraying or anything beyond this uh these early stages means that we do quite a bit of damage to our crops um it's not normally an issue uh, because we are, uh, we, t we tend to do all of our, our spraying and spreading and fertilizing and everything at this stage, nice and early in our crops. Uh, try and, uh, we, we're more preventative than we are reactionary. Uh, only issue to that is if something does come along, if we get uh, an infestation of, uh, of something, uh, or, or we find that our crops actually need a boost. At the moment, our hands are tied, so I don't want to be. I don't want to continue in that situation. Uh, I want to make sure that going forwards, we're going to be in a good position, and uh, and actually are prepared for uh, pretty much anything that can be thrown at us. So uh, I am looking at the options. It'd be a uh, our seminar is is pretty powerful tractor for what we do here. So to be honest. Um, most of what we would look at would probably be something in the mid-range. Maybe a replacement for this one. Uh, as much as I love this uh, 7710, uh, it, does, uh, it does limit us to a certain extent because of, because of uh, certain things on the farm that, that it's not able to do. Uh, there are, uh, of course, the other thing is our 4420. Uh, and this tractor may be replacing these two with a single tractor. Uh, now that we've got the uh, skid steer on the farm, it's, uh, it would make a little bit more sense to, to sort of get this tractor and, uh, 
and that little one merged into a uh, into a sort of a single tractor. I've actually got a huge weed problem down this end, but we'll keep going. We uh, not got GPS on this, so uh, we are at the moment just uh, trying to work roughly where we should be. You can't see the weeds here, but they are there, and this will pull them out. There we go. Alright, pull that. Want to avoid that. Right. And back in. There we go. Yeah. Quite a bit. Uh, quite a, a long stretch here that didn't get hit by the weeds so badly at all. But we'll still give it a good weed, and that should uh, that should sort it. Get them early is what we're trying to do. Uh, so yeah, it's been a it's been a good year on the farm. I'm uh, I'm pleased. It's uh, we had a good harvest. The farm has expanded, so that's been uh, that's been awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos that we've been doing on here. Uh, certainly trying to give you an uh, an eye of what's been going on and what we uh, what we do here um, and it's and it has been a successful year so I'm uh, I'm really pleased with that uh, and uh, yeah it's it's I don't know I don't know what the future holds oh, it's trouble coming in at that angle there we go See, been straightening this up a bit. Um, <coughs> it's just been, uh, it's just been a fantastic year. I'm so pleased at how well everything's gone. Uh, the cows are doing well. We have, of course, switched how we did, did the cows this year um, from uh, from a crazy, crazy attempt uh, over the past few years to get milk from uh, the Brahams, uh, and uh, and instead uh, we now have. Uh, we're now on to full meat production, and we're doing better for it. It was uh, quite why we tried doing it the other way before, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we are all the better for the fact that we are now fully on uh, meat production with the cows. And then you got you got bits like this. This is just, uh, just running so smoothly and so nicely. And this will be a really good weed free field uh come uh, come next season uh, which will be uh, utterly fantastic and it's just this little bit of work at this stage at this stage of the growth that just holds it back it means that uh, the weeds are kept completely out which is always a good thing always a good thing Yeah, back into the uh, lesser effective part of the field. And again, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. And hopefully this will uh, this will be uh, nice and preventative. The other way is to spray it with herbicide. I don't, I don't want to spray it with herbicide at this point. That would not be good. Well, the only thing about turning around on the road here is you're right, so long as there are no cars coming. Which we uh, seem to get a little bit lucky then. There we go. So this will give us a very, uh, very good coverage. The field. The nice thing about this... Uh, this weeder is uh, it's it's really really quite a nice uh, nice quite a nice width. It's pretty much the widest one we can get a hold of here, and uh, uh, and as a result does the uh, does the job efficiently, which is of course the thing we are always always after here. 
Uh, efficiency is the big buzzword with just me working on the farm. And farms worldwide are just going more and more like this. You know, fewer and fewer workers and, and more and more um, uh, <coughs> trying to, to have more and more jobs done by a single person. Uh, so, that, uh, so that it makes, again, the whole thing more efficient. So, uh, yeah. It's all good. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with how just me running this farm uh, has gone. I mean, obviously, we've had some help from Dad. But uh, it's otherwise been awesome. And, of course, my sister coming back at one point as well. Right, and there we go. And away we go again. Perfect. And that gives us a very, very cool coverage. So it's uh, we're getting onto the diagonal bit of the field now. Uh, why, quite why we had such a huge um, and sudden growth of weeds on this field. I'm not sure. Uh, we will have to keep an eye on that. Uh, it's it's not great to have seen that. Not great for that to have happened. I'll make sure I stay straight here. Um, so uh, yeah, we need to uh, we need to keep an eye on that. I don't want to uh, I, I don't want to have that problem going forward. It wouldn't be helpful and wouldn't be wise. <sighs> yeah, and it's one of those things where I'm so pleased with what's going on, uh, what's happened with the farm this year that there's not that much that I'm looking to change over the winter. There's not that much I'm looking to to alter. Um, I'm still considering uh, looking at a uh, new dairy setup come the spring, uh, building a new uh, dairy cow shed and, uh, and going from there. We've got the space on the farm, we've got uh, space uh, near the woodland. Oh, I want to get turned quickly here. So we have a car coming. There we go. Get that done before he comes. Um, so yeah, there's still the prospect of uh, of, of expanding uh, back to a dairy operation. We don't have any of our dairy kit anymore, um, but we would uh, we would build a new um, we'd build a new cattle shed. Uh, well, you can't see it behind the mirror at the moment, but uh, yeah, there's that that copse of trees there. Uh, we would uh, we'd build just in front of that. There's a, a space that we've got there. That would uh, that would be a, a useful uh, bit to do. Um, otherwise, you know, there's the possibility of uh, sheep has done a lot up here as well. So we could do uh, we could do some sheep. Um, pigs are something that's done largely around here as well. Um, I know uh, a few years ago. In fact, where our barn stands now, um, years ago we had an old abandoned. Um, uh, pig enclosure uh, that we knocked down in order to uh, to put that shed there uh, so uh, yeah there's uh, there's that possibility um, you know basically there's there's lots and lots that we could be doing here uh, so uh, yeah our options are open and uh, and I'm looking forward to how the future goes and what we're gonna do uh, but as I said we are not going to be doing anything for a while because well winter is coming and uh, and it tends to shut everything down there we go into here not a huge amount left so uh, yeah that's um, we've got we got just a bit of the uh, field to finish off with the um, uh, where it isn't very much covered but I am going to leave you guys here I think
which means that all that uh, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.